Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial by PhotoshopEducation.Blogspot.com. Today we're going to expand on your knowledge of granites. In the previous tutorial we talked about the paint bucket, how to use the granites, and how to create custom granites. Today we're going to sh show you how to load granites, rename granites, uh, and how to even save granites, and a few other areas. If you haven't already, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the post and download the supporting files. You'll find a photoshopeducation.grd file. GRD actually is a granite file. You can download hundreds or thousands of these granites from the internet. So this is just one example of it. Let's get going. And we showed you the granite tools right in here. So let's get in the granite. And before we forget, the last tutorial we forgot to show you in the video tutorial, but we showed you on the PDF file and in the written documentation what these dots are and these little diamonds. These diamonds will allow you to actually adjust finely. So we just wanted to go over that. Uh, they're called midpoints. So you can have a midpoint for the opacity stopper. They're basically fine-tuning uh, your custom. We forgot to do, we forgot to cover that in the previous tutorial, the video tutorial. So before we wanted to get going, we wanted to show you that. So if you scroll down here, you'll notice that we've got a lot of uh, presets, a lot of grants. Yours will probably look a little bit different. But let's say you totally mess things up and you go, geez, I wanted this back to square one. Left click this right arrow and do a reset granites. Now before you do this just remember all your granites are going to go away. It's going to go back to default so don't blame me when you come back and say where's my granites at? Well it's going to reset it. You can always reload them but uh, this is how you reset it. Left click reset granites and you'll want two options really here really look at is OK and cancel. Uh, let's go ahead and click OK. You'll notice that you'll see the default presets up here now. What if we wanted to, let's say, we like this this option here for the color, uh, the three colors, yellow, black, and blue. Let's say we wanted to add it to the preset. Well, we showed you in the last tutorial this name here, and we'll call this one Photoshop Education. And all we got to do is left click on the new button. And you'll note it's automatically added to the presets. And where does this name come in play? Well, when you hover over the top of it, it shows you actually the name of the preset. That's how you, but what if you type the name wrong and now it's later? Well, you could either left click in this name again or do a rename. If you left click, once you right clicked on the preset, you left click on rename granite. Maybe you wanted to just call this PE and left click OK. If you're not happy, you can go ahead and with this, you can left click cancel. So now if we hover over the top of it, it should say PE. It's actually changed. Now, let's say we don't like this anymore. Now, we want to delete one preset. We don't want to delete other presets. All we got to do is right click on this preset and left click on delete granite. Now, the dangerous part of that is you'll notice it didn't ask us, hey, do you want to really delete it? it deletes it. <laughs> now the other areas we want to show you is by now hopefully you've downloaded this Photoshop education.grd. Uh, the GRD stands for Granites. So yeah, uh, where do you install it? Well you can install it in the Photoshop subfolder uh, which is the presets for there's a preset subfolder for Granites. But we recommend actually install it anywhere you'd like as long as you remember and it's easily to get to. Easily to add to it, easily to back it up. But once you have it uh, installed on the computer, or will not say installed, copied to the computer and you remember it, we're going to do a load. Once you do a load and you find locate your folder, ours just happens to be in Photoshop Education Granites folder, you'll so notice the Photoshop Education Granite. When you left click on it, it highlights it and it puts this file name down there. Now, uh, if you're if you want to load it, go ahead and left click the load button. If not, click on the cancel button. Left click load. 
you'll notice that now you'll see a lot of granites. This is the little collection we had at the time, so we saved it off for you guys. Uh, let's say I added uh, more granites. You'll notice that, uh, let's say, I wanted this one a little bit down, and we'll just leave it as custom. We'll add another one, so it's a little bit different. You can save granites, and now the key thing here is you're not saving one granite, you're saving all the presets. It's all or nothing. We use this strictly for our purposes, strictly for backup purposes in case the system crashes or anything like that. But if you do want to share it with others, just like we did here, you can do that. Left click on save and it brings up the box and all you have to do is just name it on the bottom and automatically puts a GRD extension on it and left click save. Now if we do a load, you'll notice this PE. And that is really everything you want to know about the more information about the Granite Editor. We showed you how to rename presets, how to delete presets, how to create new presets, how to load uh, Granite files, and how to save Granite files. Hope you enjoy this tutorial, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.